Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 7 on enhancements. In this video, I'm going to explain about a concept called custom body. Meaning, I'm going to create a body definition. So far, we have used a body definition. It could be a classic or kernel. And the kernel, I didn't... Uh, put any video on it only the classic I have a video the last one where I showed you how to create an implementation for a classic body the same way we have to do kernel body as well so before that I'll like to take this custom body um, so quite is a new one because if you see user exit customer exit like user exit subroutines are given by SAP customer exit function module screen exit everything is given by SAP but the first time we are going to create our own custom body definitions okay it's like i'm going to create my own enhancements part i'm going to create my own body definition i'm going to decide whether my body is a multiple use or it has a filter option amdp and how the uh, object is going to instantiate from the previous from the back end and is there any fallback and what are the example classes uh, methods for my body so everything i'm going to decide okay so that's the way and then after you define the body we are going to implement so implementation is same how whatever we did for the existing one the same way we are going to do the implementation part so i'm going to explain the custom body in this video probably it might take one or two videos for the custom body so it has a lot of options to explain let's get into the slide first the first question is why what is the reason to create a custom body in the sap product so normally if there is any enhancement it should be from sap product company only but what is the reason of custom body even that option is available uh, the previously we are not able to create any customer um, like function model start with exit right so we are not able to create it we can make use of it but here you can create a definition of your body so there are multiple reasons and uh, multiple usage depends on the situation or depends on the needs uh, we have uh, many options or uh, examples we have why we need a custom body so from my experience and from where we have uh, i have uh, gone through a few examples so these are the options or uh, ways or the need to create a custom body so the first one is um, as per my idea is easy way to understand the body definition the entire part so for example i want to uh, I make myself very clear about the filter dependent body or limited filter use which is in the kernel body so I need to figure out the standard body definition which has the filter option step one another one I need to know which transaction either this body is going to call okay so a lot of dependencies and a lot of time we have to invest to understand most of the properties of your body definition okay but if it is a custom body definition so it's very easy we can make all the options enable and we can work out okay we can have a, a create a custom program where we can call the body we are going to use a get body or call body statement to call the body itself okay so from our custom program so everything is in our control so it's an easy way to understand in and out of the body definitions okay uh, this is one idea one point another one is um, the same thing I explained like play around with all the body definitions so you don't have any restrictions right so just you can play around with that but you have only one restriction that uh, in the custom body um, can be implemented by SAP internal that option is not allowed for you to change it's always in a display mode so obviously it doesn't make any sense to enable it for a custom body so that only that is uh, restricted where I can see and another way you might come across uh, where some of the project there is a need to create a custom body that may be a, a, the entire custom transaction that maybe they copy the 
a standard transaction into custom transaction or they may create a custom project for the business so sometimes yes really we need to have a custom body and some of the um, areas i have noticed um, they may use the body to overcome the difficulties which is in the user exit and customer exit so if the customer exit is a single implementation where from the customer exit you are able to call a custom body which has a multiple implementation and very frequently we use a, a scenario as many developer developers are working in the same kind of implementation so the coding is getting messed up it's very difficult to maintain so in that case also they can create a custom body especially for the enhancement custom body definitions i'm talking about custom body means custom body definitions and they can make use of the multiple use options and other filter options and everything for their own project so the reason is different and if really is required you can have the custom body on your project as well so these are the reasons which i have encountered okay and um yeah these are the options from my end and then uh, design so i'm going to uh, give few um, what do you call uh, steps how to create or uh, what are the needs uh, before creating a definition so once you understand the needs in the hierarchy then defining a body is very easy okay so implementation we are talking at the last so don't worry about the implementation we are going to concentrate only on body definitions so step, excuse me step 1 create a custom enhancement spot and here we are going to do a kernel because we are not able to create a uh, classic body uh, it is not allowed because it it ha we have to create an enhancement spot for a custom um, body body definition so i go with a kernel body only kernel custom body so here it's it shows custom enhancement spot step 1 you have to create it step 2 you have to create a custom body definition okay and next step you have to create a custom interface that is very important you know the hierarchy of body implementation the last video i have showed you interface classes standard interface it has its own method but it doesn't have any uh, coding inside it it doesn't have any implementation on it so we have to create a custom class automatically for the interface automatically the method which is going to be Uh, which is available in the interface going to be um, listed in your custom class then you can do a implementation whichever method you want so you need to create a custom interface and then you have to create a custom class finally class has a methods or obviously whatever method available in the interface it's automatically come to your class so here actually the methods are coming from interface not from your class so just you have to make yourself clear okay so this is the steps which we have to do to create a custom body definition and each step has its own uh, pre request i can say so i'm going to explain the pre request for each step then we'll move further step one custom enhancement spot you can use a c18 transaction to create a, a custom enhancement spot properties of custom enhancement spot is very simple just give a description of it nothing much it will ask okay step two create a custom body definition um, use the same sc18 and once you create automatically it's ask which enhancement spot you want this give the enhancement spot and uh, custom interface uh, it needs to be there and then custom fallback class so for custom fallback class is optional but custom interface is mandatory so before go to or before activate you can create it not an issue but you can activate it it will give an issue uh, given error message the interface is required so create a interface first then activate your body definition and then okay let's create a custom interface while creating a custom interface you can have a number of methods anyway it's going to be empty methods only you can have n number of methods whatever is you need required and one very basic information you have to do is you have to include a standard interface as part of your custom interface okay so that interface name is if body interface is the uh, standard interface uh, name you have to include it in your custom interface okay this is a very mandatory option 
otherwise you will get an error while activating your body not your interface that will allow you to activate but your custom body is not going to activate because it shows your interface doesn't have if body interface okay and it's you know about the transaction it's a class or interface so it's going to se24 and the next step create a class through the same se24 transaction and include the interface this one whatever interface you created just include it okay automatically it will take this if bad interface as well you are going to see that one so this is a custom class once the customer has created or uh, whatever methods you are implement sorry defining here it's automatically going to listed in your custom class so next step is very simple and uh, if you want whatever methods you want to implement just do it in your custom class so these are the steps which we have to follow uh, to make your body definition is ready or active okay so apart from this you have the properties of your definition body definition it's like multiple use filter amdp and your object crea uh, um, creation and the fallback class and example classes so these are the properties which you have already ever everything is enabled for you okay nothing else okay custom bad implementation one point i have to uh, make yourself a little clear it's for your reference um body definition is ready it's it's applicable for standard body as well so body definition as well so here what you have to do is you have two things enhancement implementation body implementation you probably might noticed it whenever you click whenever you click body implementation create body implementation there will be a pop up it shows these are the enhancement implementations are available either you can choose it from the list or create your new mostly you go with create a new enhancement implementation because probably it listed either a standard enhancement implementation or a custom one which might be belongs to a different project okay so you can create a new enhancement implementation then the another pop up will come to allow you to create a um, body implementation with like name description and everything nothing big okay so there are two steps to create a implementation one is enhancement implementation another one is body implementation most of the standard they preferred a standard in the sense i'm saying standard body definition as well as implementation they prefer one is to one okay enhancement implementation one is to one bad implementation so one to one okay but you have an option of you can have one enhancement implementation and n number of bad implementation so this is also possible but depends on your need or scenario either go with one is to one or one is to n okay and one more option whenever there is a new bad implementation recommended is always go with the new custom class okay so but you can have a, a same class name but what happens is it's override everywhere it doesn't make any sense so if there is any bad implementation always go with the new custom class okay uh, hope i'm good yep so this is the idea of how you are going to do a body custom body definitions okay so i will show you today how to create a custom body like enhancements part and a custom everything is custom everything start with z or y uh, body definitions and the properties just i'll show you show you the properties which are enabled and finally i'm going to do a two implementation i will go with multiple use i'll create a two body implementation along with the enhancement implementation part okay so yep let's get into the system so this is my system so here i'm going to create my step one enhancement spot custom enhancement spot with the help of se18 transaction so i'm going to give zgi enhancement spot so my custom first custom enhancement spot okay and give a different name for your enhancement spot and body name that's then only you are able to uh, clarify very easily which is enhancement spot which is body name okay so enhancement spot and it's going to be custom enhancement spot and there is only one option enabled body definition and click continue we'll see about sorry composite enhancement spot little later continue local object 
So the enhancements part is ready. It got created. Then I need to go with the baddie definitions. Okay. Excuse me. Just click this create button. So what is your body definition? So name of your body is CGI body definition. Okay. Custom body definition. Continue. Okay. By default, you will get this particular screen. You are very familiar with the screen. But one good thing is the screen is on your control. So you can have multiple use selector or deselect, limited, and AMDB body. And this is not you are able to do it because it is not by SAP. This is custom code. So that's why they made this option as enabled disabled. And you can change this. Again, you can select call fallback. Okay. So it shows different interface first. Yeah, I'll, I'll come. I'll come. Okay, and then you can have the implementation example classes also. It's entirely on your control. Okay, let me save it first. Okay, just saved. Now I need an interface. So go here. I need to create an interface to have over here. Let me go to AC24 ZIF underscore. Um, Add interface. Okay. Created definition. Custom body for sorry, custom interface for body. Custom interface. new save it okay and here you have to go to interface and add if body interface okay this is very important and have a method whatever methods you want you can have it m1 m2 m3 okay so what is the level so these are very basic i'll go with instance method and one could be static okay save it and activate it so now copy this name of your interface and go to body definition and paste it enter okay so it shows what are the methods so come here so m1 m2 m3 m3 is a static so it comes uh, first and description i didn't give anything that's why it's empty so hope almost we are done and if you want to change anything okay no, sorry this is the interface sorry this is spot details Where I have? okay here yes so double click it will take you to the option so now I'll, I'll go with multiple use i'll go with create uh, instantiation okay and you can have call fallback if you want you can first you have to create a class then you can do it okay so these things we'll see quite later just save it and act toward it it's done okay so now let me do an implementation because i want to call this body from my custom program but um, you can able to call but there is no implementation you're not able to see any uh, output over there so that is the reason I'm going to create an implementation for my body. So up to this, it's a new because first time we are creating a custom uh, enhancement spot and custom body. And implementation is same like the previous video. So I'm going to create an implementation. Either you can go to SE19, you can create it. Or here itself, you can say right click, create body implementation. So body implementation, you you aware of it. There are two steps. One is enhancement implementation and bad implementation. So if you click create bad implementation, it will ask and en create enhancement implementation because this definition doesn't have a single enhancement implementation. After you create this, if you go to the next uh, bad implementation, it will list out. 
whatever you have created it will list out either you can choose it or you can create another new enhancement implementation so here i can say uh, enhancement implementation custom enhancement implementation some descriptions click continue save it another pop up will come for a bad implementation so it will ask the details for your bad implementation so cgi bad implementation 1 and here i can say first implementation and what is your implementation implementing class okay so currently uh, i didn't create anything but still it's fine you can create give a name it automatically created so here this is implementing class 1 continue save it so the first implementation is getting created because it needs to create uh, two or three objects in the back background so it not, might take little time yeah it's done so this is my first body implementation and uh, here implementation is active it will not call because i didn't act toward it and this is my body definition like custom body definition which we created and this is the interface for the body okay so act toward it activate your body implementation then if you go into the exact class of your body then you can able to see the particular methods over there and you can do the implementation part okay so here it shows implementation will be called now go to implementing class so this is the class and these are the methods so double click so interface method was not at implemented do you want to implement yes i want to implement just click s yes. it will take you to the editor so here you can say write the third one implementation called activate and method two it depends on your need whichever method you want you can implement it Let's implement this as well. Entry static implementation also called. Okay, so three methods I implemented it. Okay, now I'll go for um, okay. Let me call this body from my program, then we'll do the multiple implementation. Okay. So now it shows very clearly it's active. Okay. Now let me go to C dot eight ZGI call body. It's very simple to call. The statements are very simple. Uh, it's all depends on uh, object oriented. So you need a reference for your enhancements or for your body. Then you have to use. Uh, statement called um, get body and you can say call body okay only three steps to call a body definition actually we are calling a definition not the method sorry not the implementation part okay once the body is getting triggered automatically whatever is implemented that will automatically called from wherever you are calling it okay so that is the basic idea you have to trigger the body definitions only so here i can say data Anyway, it's it's object reference. I'll go with the same name, same naming conventions. Object body type ref to your body name, not your enhancement spot name, your body name. So what is my this is my spot and this is my definition. So body definition. And next statement get body object PADI. Okay. And now call body and you can say object b a d i control space bar it will display whatever is available in this particular interface or particular body especially technically we call it as so m1 and check it act to order 
So here you don't want to specify the bracket because this is not, we are not calling using call method option. Okay. We are using call baddie option. So please don't use this brackets M1. Back to word it. Now I'm going to execute it. So it has implementation for the particular method M1. So it's displayed here. Okay. So the same way we can call the other methods as well. Go back. Copy this, paste it, paste it. M2, M3. Good. So M1, M2, M3, both methods are getting called. So if the, if the method doesn't have implementation, what will happen? So I will explain that probably in other video, what is the use of fall, uh, fallback class. Okay, we'll see that one. So here, go here, I'm going to do another implementation, right click, create bad implementation. Now, you'll get a, another pop-up, different pop-up for enhancement implementation. Select or create. So if you want, you can create one-to-one -one enhancement implementation or bad implementation or you can select the same for your next bad implementation. Now it automatically comes to the second pop-up. So this is my second implementation. I'm just go to and here second and here also I'm going to give another one. Continue. So here I, I used one to n option between enhancement implementation and bad implementation. I will show you that as well. Once everything is created, I will show you, I will take you to the enhancement implementation page, then you're able to see it. So this is my second implementation. If you go to the implementation class, yes, it's got created. Everything is fine. Let me act toward it. And if you double click any of your method, so it will say methods not implemented. Do you want to implement? Yes, I want to implement. So here you can say write um, second implementation for M2. That's it. So let's go to the program. Okay, let me act toward it. Let's just confirm it's everything is active. And only M2 has got implemented in second implementation. Let's activate my spot for one more time. Okay, and there is a refresh. Okay, here it is. Okay, okay, I got it. So you have two implementations over here. Now go to the program and execute. So it's called one, two, three, and okay, one and two, there are two implementations for M2. It's called more than one implementation as well. And here it's M3, okay? Now, if you go to the body um, enhancement implementation over here, so only one implementation, just double click. It will take you to the enhancement implementation. And in, in that implementation, you have two bad implementations. So one is to end scenario. So mostly uh, you are able to see only one is to one most of the standard, but here you have one is to n. Okay. So hope this might be useful and uh, just play around with the custom body definitions. Once you are good with the definition, then implementation is very simple. And in the following videos, I try to explain all other properties of your body definition using the custom body uh, definition part. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video. Bye.